First Lady Melania Trump, in a last dash in her high heels along the campaign trail, delivered a version of her stump speech in Huntersville, North Carolina, on Monday afternoon, praising President Donald Trump's leadership on the coronavirus pandemic while pouring scorn on Democrat Joe Biden's record over four decades in public life. On Tuesday, I am asking that you continue to put your trust in our president, she told a crowd of 250,300 masked supporters outdoors at Magnolia Woods, a popular wedding venue near Lake Norman, according to the White House Pool Report. We've had three and a half years of winning. Let's have another four, she said as the crowd shared. She was interrupted several times by chants of four more years, plus a few shouts of we love you. During her 25-minute speech, which she read from a teleprompter. It was much the same as the speech she has delivered three times so far since last week, in solo campaign stops in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. As at those stops, she accused Biden and the Democrats of trying to politicize COVID-19 and vaccine efforts, of stoking fear, of seeking to go backwards, and of ignoring rioters and looters burning our cities. Why should we trust Joe Biden when he suggests he can do a better job? She said. All you have to do is look back on his 47 years in political life to determine whether you think he is suddenly capable of putting the American people first. Trump was introduced by one of the White House press spokespeople, Hogan Gidley, a native of Gastonia, North Carolina. He, too, praised Trump and mocked his rival, saying, Joe Biden wants you to live your lives the same way he campaigns, in the basement. Trump was dressed in a caramel colored leather jacket with a wide belt over a suede skirt and her usual spike heels. As at her other campaign stops, some of the loudest cheers greeted anything she said about the greatness of America, its pride and patriotism and love and optimism. She sneered at journalists who have become a political tool of the career politicians who choose to focus on the negative. She scolded Democrats who wasted precious time and American taxpayer dollars on a sham impeachment, a line that reliably evokes loud cheers in her audiences. When you vote tomorrow, you are choosing between a Washington outsider who will continue to do all he can to improve our country, a president with an America, first agenda and proven results, she declared. Or, you can choose Joe Biden, she paused, as laughter rose. A career politician of over four decades with no results to point to. Before the speech, a Huntersville police officer who was part of the First Lady's motorcade was hospitalized with non-life threatening injuries after being involved in a collision with another vehicle, local police said, according to Vsoc TV. Authorities said there was no threat to Trump or anyone else in the motorcade.